Uh, on that note, I want to talk about a little bit of a lighter story, but it is quite creepy as well, which is uh, Bernie Sanders, who I once supported and voted for against Hillary Clinton. I thought he was a revolutionary, a renegade, anti-media, anti-two-party system. I thought he'd take us out of the wars, and I thought he would make our country more mentally stable, to be honest. I thought if he could break the two-party system, and if he could break the mass media complex that's leading our people in the wrong direction, then I thought Bernie Sanders could be a net good for humanity. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, he definitely served his part. He got people interested in politics. He inspired many to pay more attention. So for that, I'm forever grateful. Thank you, Bernie Sanders. But this guy has now led the ranks to, you know, completely dismantle the mental health of society with his constant race, racial pandering and dishonesty, to be quite frank. I say this all the time. I'm going to read his quotes and you're going to understand why in a second. But... I don't care if you like Donald Trump. I don't care if you don't like Donald Trump. There's perpetrators on both sides that are that are lying about it. But don't lie. Don't lie about who Trump supporters are. Don't lie about who these people are. Just don't lie about it. Tell the truth about who they are. Get to the root of the problem, and then we can work to grow it. But Bernie Sanders doesn't do this, and I'll tell you exactly why. There's two quotes that are just just really pathetic uh, to, to, to say, lack of a better word. He said to the Daily Beast recently, you know, there are a lot of white folks out there who are not necessarily racist, who felt uncomfortable for the first time in their lives about whether or not they wanted to vote for an African-American. And he, he said this, I believe, in the Stacey Abrams situation, and he doubled down, I'll tell you later, on the Andrew Gillum. So Bernie Sanders thinks, you know, a lot of white folks out there were uncomfortable to vote for the African-American candidate. Uh, my personal analysis on that, it goes left and right, although there, I think there is identity politics on both, which is race, religion, and gender. It's on the right, it's on the left. It's way more on the left. There's almost little substance there. Um, but it has nothing to do with race in my personal analysis. Like someone like John James. John James ran in Michigan. He's a black African-American man. He's very pro-military. He's very pro-constitution. He's very, very Republican. He would have won in a heartbeat in uh, in Georgia or Florida because people don't care about race anymore. There's really not that many people. There's a small fringe group on the right who really cares about race. There's a large group on the left that cares about race. I would say almost their entire ideology. So the most racist uh, people in my personal analysis, they're on the left. They work at CNN. They're Bernie Sanders. They're in high level positions. People on the right, I mean, you can say what you want about them. There is a fringe like Richard Spencer. We want to create a white ethno state. Vice chases them around with cameras like, oh, my God, white supremacists. Like, yeah, there's a couple hundred of them um, and maybe a few thousand that, that really agree with them. But on that note, most people just want policy. When you go to Georgia or you go to Florida, they love the Second Amendment. They love the First Amendment. They love low taxes. They like freedom. They don't like socialism. They don't like communism. They don't like Democrats who disguise themselves as freedom fighters who are literally pushing socialist and communist agendas. It's not rocket science, but uh, Alabama and uh, Florida, or Georgia and Florida, excuse me, they're not going to vote for a socialist communist yet. They're moving that direction, but doesn't have to do with race. It's everything to do with policy. If a black man came and did that, they would do that. So the fact that Bernie Sanders wants to make this about race, everybody with a brain or even half a, a, a character in, in their soul would tell you that. But then he doubled down on it. Uh, I, I just want to read the second quote and I'm going to go more into it. A Sanders spokesperson insisted that these remarks were taken out of context. Uh, but Sanders also said to NPR, I don't know if this was recently or a few weeks ago, but as Sanders, the spokesperson, saying, oh, it's out of context. There's no question that in Georgia and Florida, racism has reared its ugly head. And you have candidates who ran against Gillum and against Stacey Abrams who were racist and were doing everything they could to play whites against blacks. And then he went on to say, this is an outrage. we got to fight all forms of racism. So Bernie Sanders, who literally could not analyze this situation without race or gender, is accusing Andrew uh, is accusing Ron DeSantis and uh, Brian Kemp of pitting whites against blacks, as he literally says in a previous statement that white people didn't want to vote for the black person because they're uncomfortable to vote for a Native American. I mean, a, a African American. This comes literally after eight years of President Barack Obama, an African American president, who millions of these same people voted for Obama because they wanted change. They thought he was a catalyst outside the two-party system. 
And Bernie Sanders has the nerve to say that it's all about race and people are racist. If you run against Andrew Gillum, this is my big problem. I don't care if you call out racism. I don't care if you're a socialist. I don't care if you want high taxes. I don't care if you want single payer health care. I don't care if you think you love poor people and black people more than I do. I don't care if you hate Trump. None of that matters to me. You have every right to feel all of those ways. But what I can't stand and what's actually increasing racism, this is making people more racist. This is making people dislike liberals and people of, of certain, uh, you know, like skin color. It's, it's working in the opposite direction is when you say, if you disagree with me, if you don't like my candidate, you're racist and you don't like them because of their skin color. I mean, this is the game of the left and this is not a fringe group on the left. It's the entire mass media. It's progressives to the highest level of Democrat, corporate Democrats, to the wokest, to the wokest of the woke Jimmy Dore, the wokest of the woke, you know, progressive uh, socialist. They all play this game. If you don't agree with these policies and my politics, which let me remind you, even Cornell West himself, the intellect from Princeton University, Cornell West has admitted on television that he knows that socialism and democratic socialism has a 0% success rate. This is not me saying this. This is one of the biggest uh, advocates of progressive socialism. He knows that it's worked 0% of the time. So if I don't like it or, or someone in, in uh, you know, Florida doesn't like it or somebody in Georgia doesn't like it or somebody in Alabama doesn't like it and someone in California doesn't like it, whether they be black, white, or Latino, there's millions of them, white people, black people, Latino. A lot of people don't like liberal and socialist policies. The nerve that it takes and the arrogance and the complete lack of uh, actual soul and character to tell the truth that it takes to suggest that if you run against a black person that's a progressive or a liberal, you must be racist and you're stoking racism. And then if you don't want to vote for them, that you're uncomfortable to vote for an African-American. You're uncomfortable. It's not because they have socialist policies that have, has literally tanked 100% of the time. Even Cornell OS knows this. Not because they have singular universal health care that would literally, raise, they, they say it would lower, it would raise your taxes. It, it's raised it everywhere in the world. Uh, you know, everything about, you know, policies. I'm, I'm not, I could have a whole debate about why I don't like progressive policies, but it's okay. It's okay to tell me, Anomaly, you're wrong. Progressive policies are great. Libertarian policies don't work. I'm going to tell you why. I, I would love you to disagree with me. I would love you to disagree with Kemp, but to, to, to suggest and to push this narrative that everybody who doesn't like it is racist, it's, it's a sick, disgusting game, and uh, liberals and, and progressives will continue to push this. You have Senk Uger from the Young Turks, and let me remind you the Young Turks are named after the perpetrators of the Armenian genocide in, uh, you know, history, Turkey, Armenia, uh, um, you know, you have to look up more, but millions of Christians were murdered. They rounded up the intellectuals and slaughtered people based on basically their religion. I mean, it was a huge massacre that goes way underreported. The young Turks were the perpetrators of it. That's like being called the young Nazis and being like, no, 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 we're not the young Nazis. It's totally different from those Nazis. So the Young Turks, named after the perpetrators of the Armenian Genocide, are now on Twitter and now on social media calling for revolt. They're saying, we need to revolt. We don't need compromise. Sank Uygur uh, is telling Nancy Pelosi, no compromise. We need to revolt. So he's calling for incivility. They're calling for incivility at the highest levels. They're calling for revolution. If you don't like that, if you like calm and peacefulness and like basic freedom and basic like leave me alone libertarian policies, they will call you a racist. And, and my big thing with this is it's not a fringe group. If it was like a bunch of losers in North Carolina or South Carolina who meet up every year because they can't get laid or can't find a wife or whatever, then, you know, that's one thing. It's like, okay, well, Vice goes down there, does a whole documentary on it. Yeah, let's condemn those people. But why can we condemn the neo-Nazis and the white supremacists and the racists on the right, which I'm all for, for condemning, when you can't condemn the racists on the left, which are now, you know, working for big social media corporations, they're in politics, they're all over the television, they're the biggest news station on social media. The Young Turks have the number one news channel, and this is what they do. If you disagree with them, if you don't want socialism, which is works 0% of the time, even Cornell West admits that, they will call you racist, they will call for revolution. Just last night, Tucker Carlson had a domestic terrorist group outside his house banging on his door, his wife's home, he has four kids. Luckily, they were not home. They're breaking his door, telling him, you're not safe. We know here, where you live. These are the same people that Mitt Romney on the right and all of, uh, all of the left 
told you, oh no, both sides are not bad. Those people are bad. Those people are good. They're heroes. Mitt Romney told you that. The media told you that. And these people continue to, uh, you know, dox and terrorize people, show up at, the, at their house and harass their family. This is just in 24 hours. Uh, you know, of course, terrible things happened. Yeah, we had a shooting. It was horrible. I just talked about it. Uh, just like socially, I, I, I just thought like, man, I was like, maybe if they win the house, they'll chill out. But they don't. They're just going to push further and further and further and further and further. And I'm going to continue to uh, speak my mind about it as kindly as possible. I, j I just find it disgusting what Bernie Sanders is doing. I find it disgusting what Sank Uger is doing. I find it absolutely repulsive and pathetic and cowardly and, and, and complete lack, lack of content of character that these people will not debate policies. I mean, Tucker and Sank debated at, at the Young Turks. And most people, I mean, I'm sorry, it's Tucker... Carlson and Sank Uger debated at Politicon and most of my progressive friends were like, wow, Tucker was really, really impressive. And Sank did a decent job too, you know, but like Tucker, he's a good guy because that's what happens when you come together and debate. But these people literally would rather terrorize your house, call for incivility and revolution than they would, uh, you know, win a debate. So Bernie thinks you're racist if you vote or run against any black liberals and progressives. Do you think that decreases racism? Of course not. It makes people more racist because when you can't do what Martin Luther King wanted to do, which was judge people by the content of your character. And every time you try to judge people based on what you think of the content of their character, you're called racist for simply disagreeing with someone. If Maxine Waters is above uh, any sort of criticism from white liberals because she's black and they're white, even though I don't like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, but if they criticize Maxine Waters, now they're racist. This is actually making people more racist. They're gonna, they're gonna start hating white liberals. They're gonna start hating you know, certain people, certain races, if they're, they're above criticism, they could do anything. They could literally, you know, be 12% of the population committing 50% of the murders. This is FBI statistics. But if you say anything about it, you're racist. If you don't want to vote for their policies, which have never worked anywhere in society, then you're racist. This is not decreasing racism. This is increasing racism. Uh, and, and the left is, is not a fringe group. It's a, it's a radical, radical group that is literally everywhere high power positions from social media to media to politics, and they won't back down no matter how much power or control of the house they get because they, I don't know. I don't know what they want. They want all your taxes. They want everything, everyone to disagree with them. They want 100% of the media. They want it all going one way, and if you disagree with them, they want to turn us into like a totalitarian, like high tax, completely failed state, and I, I don't know any other way to say it, and that's okay for me to feel that way. That's okay for someone to disagree. What's not okay is to suggest that everyone who doesn't vote for your candidates is a racist and that race is playing a huge factor. It's really not, it's absolutely insane. But I do wanna say, it does seem like uh, people do, when it, especially when it comes to black and woman in certain uh, you know regions, people do vote for their race. You know, 80 to 90% of people voted for the black candidate that were black. So, you know, if there is something that people vote for someone who looks like them, then call it out on all sides because it happens uh, to black too. And to that I say, to white people or black people, I think you're a fool if you vote for somebody based on their race or gender. Just because someone's black and you're black doesn't mean they have your best interests at heart. Just because you're white and, and someone else is white doesn't mean they have the, your best interests at heart. So if you're white or black or Spanish or Asian and you vote for someone solely off of their race, it's absolutely buffoonery on all sides because... <laughs> That's how you get played, when you judge somebody by their skin color, not the content of their character. If Martin Luther King came back today, he would probably be absolutely hated by society. Martin Luther King would be treated like Socrates, which every single great always has. Martin Luther King murdered. Socrates, you know, told to kill himself in exile. So it seems like every time we have good people, someone kills them or tries to send them to another country, unfortunately. God bless Martin Luther King. You would probably be sad to see the, the state of America in 2018. On that note...